All right, so unfortunately, I'm at a Toyota dealership right now doing this, but uh, got to do what you got to do. <laughs> we have T minus one minute till the tags go on sale for Nebraska. Here we go. You are now in line. Less than a minute away. All right, it's my turn. Here we go. We're redirecting to the website. Here we go, here we go. We're going to Nebraska. I got Jacob's tags and I got my tags. We're going to Nebraska, baby. <laughs> I gotta go outside the screen. All right, I'll take you guys outside because there's too many people around here. <laughs> Woo! All right, so I haven't told you guys any of this because I've been keeping it a secret, but I've been low key training for this and planning for this trip for two months now. And I officially have the tag, so it's all open where I can t officially tell you guys that I'm going to Nebraska for a mule deer hunt and the archery tag is also good for whitetails so we're gonna have a good time we're going the first week of October my birthday week and the tags are official we're going to Nebraska baby Well, what is going on, everyone? Today, it is September 29th, and the Nebraska trip is finally here. Um, it's been a long time coming. We started planning this trip probably in June, and then bought the tags in July when they went on sale. And ever since then, it's just literally been grinding, 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 researching, doing everything we can to prepare ourselves as. I've never camped before. As much of an outdoorsman as I am, I've never camped before. I've never done spot and stalk hunting like this before. I've never gone out west before to hunt and like actually hike around. Never camped before. There's a lot of firsts, but we're gonna have a good time. I've been doing so much research. We've got a 16 hour drive ahead of us. Um, we pulled up here to one of the local stores just to meet up because we were picking up Tim. I got Jacob here already in the truck. I want to give a huge shout out to my mom for letting us borrow her truck um, because I was originally going to take the Toyota when it was just Jacob and I, but um, I don't have a back seat. So when Tim decided to come, we needed a truck that had a back seat. Plus it can't hurt to have four wheel drive going out west because you just never know. So huge shout out to my mom for letting us use her truck for this trip and yeah, so as soon as Tim gets over here, we're gonna load up his stuff and then we're hitting the road. We got 16 hour drive ahead of us, about eight and a half hours in, we're stopping in Des Moines, Iowa. There's a Cabela's there, we're gonna get some lunch, stretch your legs, probably take the cameras with us. And then the hope is that we reach our campground tonight between eight and nine, but who knows. I will uh, keep filming, but I'll check in with you guys and get the camera out and talk to you guys some more once we get to Des Moines, Iowa. It is 11.47 a.m. 
the boys and I have made our second stop of the trip. We're in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, so we're about seven and a half hours out from camp. Um, so we're pretty close, we're more than halfway, but we're stopping, we already had some lunch. And then there's a Bass Pro Shops over here uh, that we're gonna go walk around for a little bit. He's gotta get a couple more supplies. I'm gonna actually look for a couple supplies and then we're gonna get back on the road, but uh, we're just gonna stretch our legs, get some gas, and take a break because we've been driving pretty long already, so. All is well though. All right, all right, all right. I got what I came for. We didn't really forget these. We just don't have these back up near us. Nobody checks wind when they're sitting in the deer stand. Normally they check it, then go get in the stand, or they check the wind before they even go out and hunt the stand based off the wind direction. So didn't have them in stores near us, so figured we could find them on the way here, and as luck would have it, we found a few, and everyone's got a couple, because these are gonna be very, very important once we get out to Nebraska, which we're about a state away now, so. You boys ready? Oh, no, focus. Yeah? Is ready to get back on the road? What do we got? Dude? I feel like we shouldn't. There's no reason we should be buying anything at this point in the trip. Like I feel like we should have everything, but we don't. Bit of an update. We ended up we ended up getting a hotel room for the night because it is pouring down rain and we just don't want to unpack the truck and do all that in the rain and have everything soaking wet to start the trip off. It just would not be a good way. So oh got it. Bet, dude. I'm trying to be quiet because we're surrounded in people, but we are in the hotel room. Um, we were supposed to be camping tonight, but we also thought we were going to get here a lot earlier than expected. So that is unfortunately not how it's going to go. But tonight we're going to get a good night's sleep. We're going to get up at the ass crack of dawn, shower, head to the park, and maybe, dude, you know what? What about this? What about this game plan? We get our camo, we get dressed here, we go straight out to the field, hunt the morning. Midday, we take a break, go set up camp, go back out, Let's and do glass in the evening. Let's I think that would work really well. Let's do it. That way we're not missing out on the morning. Missing out on the morning. I think that's a solid idea. I was just getting a couple things ready for the pack, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so. I agree. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off here because I want to get some of the footage from today's adventure onto my computer. There's a couple things I need to do with Onyx, and then I just need to get some sleep because I've been up for way too long, and we're going to be doing a lot of things over the next in eight days so guys i will see you in the morning thank you so much for all the support it is absolutely insane that we're actually here in nebraska getting ready to hunt mule deer but it's game on and it's about to go down so stay tuned and i'll catch you guys in the morning all right ladies and gentlemen First day is underway. Let's go ahead to a point, brother.
good sight there, bro. Dude, check out below her. Maybe they're grouped up, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she's right there feeding and grazing, bro, there's willing to bet there's probably no one below her. Cause look at this stuff down to the left of her. Oh, dude. There's a group of deer. Group of deer. Hey, Jacob, look to the right of her. Look in the lower right thicket patch like what we just saw those deer in over here. All right, guys, so it is September 30th. Um, Jake and I are officially at the campsite that we're staying at here in Nebraska. We got in yesterday. Um, it was pouring down rain when we got here, so we just got a hotel. Then this morning, we went into a completely different public land area just to see what it looked like because we were so curious. We had plans to come to this park, but we wanted to go check that one out. And then unfortunately, when we were wrapping up hunting there this morning, our buddy wasn't feeling so well and he decided to actually go home. So now it is just Jake and I, um, and we had to run him to an airport and now we're back at our campsite for the next couple of nights. So we're gonna get the truck unpacked, set up camp, and then repack the truck essentially so that my our buddy stuff is up here at the end of the, uh, or back up here in the, far end of the bed and then our stuff's out here and then the tents are out and all that good stuff so we're gonna set up camp shoot the bows a little bit and then we're probably gonna drive around and go try and find a map and then maybe do some glassing because it is 507 central time and then I guess western time that's 407 and we're in a 407 time zone so this is home for the next couple of nights so guys stay tuned the next couple of days are gonna be great we got all of our resources out we're gonna get camp set up and we're gonna enjoy this trip so let's get to it. heading out here to the wide open okay guys I'm gonna give you a little bit of an update the bows are dialed in we ended up leaving camp probably about 10 15 minutes ago and instead of like getting out like getting our camera back on and walking out to a ridge Jake and I just decided to kind of drive around um, it's something about that last hour they're just moving bro the Sun starts to set and then they're on the move you know so we're looking for deer driving around then we're gonna head back to camp I'll give you guys a camp tour and then we'll probably wrap up day two of the trip and uh, we're gonna get after them tomorrow, so. I don't know where you guys can see me, but uh, we're back at camp. We're just making some dinner. Jet board, okay. It's almost hot too. Just watch the flame right here on the side. It goes over the other side. Ready to go. We got Jacob over here, he's uh, changing out some broadheads arrows I said I'm just over here fixing some dinner oh yeah all right dinner time fellas I'm gonna set that down real quickly all right bro that's dinner Cooking. Got a steaming meal. Feedable. Jake's got beef stew. He's still working on the raw head. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close out right now. Um, I know I talked about doing a video tour of our campground, but I'm gonna get the camera shut off. Um, maybe charge it up a little bit for tomorrow. And then we're gonna get some shut eye and we will see you guys in the morning because we still need to kind of wash up and then we're gonna get some sleep because it's been a long, long day between hiking that we did earlier this morning and then uh, right there. 
um, between the hiking that we did this morning and then having to get back in the car for four hours and then we came back out here, got everything set up. I mean, this trip has been go, go, go and I don't think Jacob and I have had a minute to kind of like sit down. So I'm gonna eat some food, clean up a little bit, um, lock the truck up and we're gonna kind of chill out and uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning, okay? Night, y'all.